Hey, it's Lee at Craftsman Direct. It's um, a, a beautiful morning and, and just a couple days after April 15th, which we're all happy about. And our uh, homeowner here in Durham has asked for a new roof on all surfaces. And um, <clears throat> it's uh, roughly measures about 60, 60 by 45. And in addition to that, he's had some extraordinary rot issues such that he has asked us to replace every single solitary one of the fascia boards and a fascia is defined as that thing that the gutters attached to he's also asked us to replace every single one of the soffit boards and the soffit is basically that thing that that light's attached to and it's got a breather here now um <clears throat> i've offered him a 20-year warranty on our repair because we're going to do lots of special things one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to replace every single piece of this with a never rot board we're also going to use a lifetime warranty silicone to paintable caulk and I'm going to paint this house with a lifetime warranty Sherwin-Williams product called Duration. And here again, um, I don't want him to ever have a problem. He's asked for all new gutters. And um, one of the things that we have is a time pressure of approximately, he's given us two weeks and two days on average. And um, it, it really should not extend very much past that to remove and replace. Um, and uh, let's take a look at this stuff. That soffit should be about 12 to 18 inches thick. And you, we all know it's on 3 8 plywood. We're going to go all the way to the door here. Um, he's got a crown molding. And I'm going to ask my homeowner if he lets me replace that crown molding. Um, it looks pretty good. But we might have a chat about that because he might like that replaced with a PVC. I think I can match that in a PVC. The other option is when we pull the soffit out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to slip out cleanly and leave that as a, a available ledge. But we all know there's framing lumber over that. So that, that ledge is um, <clears throat> it's, it's not real thick. It's designed for something 3.8.0 to go in it, and that's all. So um, that, that kind of might be a, a work in process plan. But, um, anyhow, let me do a lap and let everyone see it. First, I want to show you the whole house one more time that now we've got a, t a chance to talk about it a little bit. We need a quote to replace the gutter, number one. Number two, the soffit fascia. And number three, remove and replace the roof. So, um, all the way down, measuring a 60-foot front. Okay, then um, we're going to go up and catch that fascia to the roof line and that looks like a two by ten I'm sorry one by ten come down and up underneath that as well and let's take a peek um, looks like 12 inches maybe 14 uh, we've got some bad hardy plank I'm sorry that's masonite and I'm counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven boards there and I'm going to go ahead and do 12, 13, 14 and take it all the way to the top because it doesn't make sense to leave three when you're taking 14. And let's go all the way down to the top of that window. And I thank my homeowner for helping me. Uh, we got a chippy in here. And I mean, if I'm cutting hardy, you know, please correct me if I'm wrong, but, but you know, we've got a run here that we could replace. I mean, you know, to the window, you've got a bad window ledge here which I don't know whether that's just nosing. Um, this brick mold has been compromised, so let's get a PVC brick mold in here. Um, this brick mold is soft too, and that hardy. So that raises the next question, where do you stop? And the thing I'd like to do is maybe quote the replacement of the whole side. I mean, at this point, I mean, if you're taken to here, you're finding here, you're finding here, you're finding here, you're finding here, here, and here. I've got a whole bunch of nail holes. Then let's just take it. Let me give you a dimension. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's roughly 18 feet. Um, the reveal should be seven, seven and a quarter. So let's check. That's a seven. Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and three quarters. So that's oops boy i'm glad i buy nice tools um all right now if we know that it's roughly seven inches we'll get a height of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six and seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty um what's that three times seven is two hundred and ten inches it's um 
almost 20 feet. Thank you. I'm working through the math in my head, but I've had way too many appointments today. Um, end cap as well. Replace all the siding. Um, the uh, garage run at 15 feet. The soffit. And here again, let's ask a question about that molding. What we might do is slip off a piece and do what's reasonable and make a sense. Um, soffit going up here, which, uh, what, 15 feet up and down. And uh, this hardy looks good, but let's see if we can get some caulk in those two openings or it won't look good this time next year when we come back and see them. Uh, we got a couple of bad pieces of um, masonite down at the bottom. And um, I'd ask my homeowner, since we're here and we're cutting, and I can build a case for number one easy. Mm -hmm. Row two, what else? Uh, row three starts to look better. All right. And we've got... Uh, some electric issues in here but we've got a couple here the nosing in that window looks so much better too mm -hmm. running down we've got end cap and um, it precipitates the need to examine this because uh, what's happened is some jerk didn't put the drip edge in the right place Unbelievable. anyhow uh, we're not gonna have that problem because you'll hear again I offer people long-term warranties because I tell them they are my neighbors and they are um, and we build a good business reputation so we can have work next year had an addition built on and up there doesn't look good but um, I'm thinking if we can get the shingles to hang over the edge for the one inch that they're supposed to get all of that stuff in PVC get it flashed correctly um, we'll, we'll have a nice outcome um, soffit soffit fascia soffit new gutter um, let's see one two four five six so that's 18 feet uh, remove and replace that soffit looks good but but he suggested he wanted them all done and um, suggested the fact that that chimney's got rock points in the top of it and I can see some boards flaring one of the things I'd like to do as a side item is um, let's call our steel fabricator and find out exactly what it would cost to remove and replace that edge because I will promise you that corner right here that ain't hanging on off that edge far enough because that's not measuring more than an inch and it needs to be three um, and I'm not really sure what we find up there the masonite does not look bad the trim boards running down those sides they do uh, that trim board here so, um, and, and the here again is uh, the ability that we have to use a Miratec product or the uh, actually the fiber cement concrete board. And uh, both of those give us a long, long, long warranty. But I did super duper zoom. Um, the fascia all the way down here. And let me zoom back. Um, I'm kind of peeking at Hardy as I ramble. I'm peeking at Hardy hard. Actually, this isn't hardy as masonite. Um, and back here where it doesn't get sun, it's famous. But somebody needs to go to the head of the class because this stuff looks pretty good. And it's not getting sunshine. That means it's staying painted and caulked well. Um, that trim board behind that gutter even looks good. And that's rare. You're starting to get some lines here. But it's hard. And that's all wood's supposed to be is hard. Um, and here's the other end cap. Well, that's uh, uh, 45 feet with, what is that? Let me let me get that angle. I can I can put I can put a tool on that. That's a that's a four. Then everybody agree that's that's a four pitch. Um, we got a brick mold that's starting to show some activity, and I'm pushing my thumb into it right here. So um, here's a that's a four foot and a staple, and that one's hard. This nosing's good, but um, I'm going to ask my homeowner to help me with some paint colors. And as you can see, this edge, but you'll hear again all the soffit, all the fascia in a um, no rock plastic PVC. And um, I think that brings us back to the beginning. What a mess. Uh, not a thing. No. I think you found more than I saw. So I made a hundred. How about that? <laughs> I've done this before, <laughs> believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, I have. I've done this yeah, I've, for no, 15 it's... years almost. I've been out here looking at house rots and uh, and anyway, um, but getting rid of the the caulk failure point. Yeah. yeah. We'll, uh...